Hi right guys, Will at a and k Systems here. Put together a, a video to show you what we've done with a bit of studio downtime and a retail copy of Snow Leopard on 10.6. The machine on the left was a, a G4 Quicksilver 733 MHz. Was used as a file server. These days can't really use it for much else. Bit of email, bit of surfing. Um, that's about it. A very hot, um, too much noise, too much noise. So time to say goodbye to that. The machine on the right is a dual, or was a dual uh, two gigahertz power PC unit. Um, either the, the CPUs went pop or the mother went pop or something. It became, uh, it wasn't cost effective to repair the unit. So we gutted it, we put some PC parts in there, um, off the shelf PC parts, um, come about 500 quid total, something like that. And now we've got an extremely fast, Quad core i5 750 um, Snow Leopard machine. Going to run you through a few bits and pieces of how we got there. Going to be some photos and some links at the end of this clip. So stay tuned, let's turn it on. So, as you can hear, very little noise. Let's go up to the monitor. Standard PC BIOS, Gigabyte, very stable motherboard. Uh, now it's going to say a few more bits and pieces, going to locate the drive, looking for an operating system. So now it's found my PC EFI install. There's basically two or three ways of doing it. This is a popular one and the other one is Chameleon. Now I'm looking at all my boot flags. Now this is what happens behind the Apple logo. When you boot an Apple machine, this is all happening anyway. But this is, um, this is booting in what's called verbose mode, so it's showing me a bit more detail exactly what hardware is being um, installed as it boots. Familiar Apple blue screen, and there you go. There's my Snow Leopard desktop. Let's zoom in. Go to about this Mac. Look. Pick that up. So the CPU is a 2.66 gigahertz i5-750. It's rounding it up to 2.7 gigahertz quad core. I'm running eight gigabyte of RAM. I've got Wi-Fi. My network gigabit is working fine. All my sound works. My main drive, one terabyte. Another time machine, one terabyte. What else we got down here? All four cores active. This. All four cores running. Full Adobe Suite running in the dock because this is now fast enough to be a backup machine just in case anything happens to our main rigs as well as being a file server. So there you go. So here's a unit from the side. Show you around the back. You've got Cooler Master Wave, Master Motherboard Tray, wide in a new power point down there. Standard G5, unlock, pop the side off. So you can see a Lian Lee hard drive stack, Arctic Freezer Cooler, NVIDIA 9500 GT, Corsair Modular 450 Watt, and an old Pioneer DVD writer. Gigabyte motherboard tucked away there. Very quiet, very powerful. But if you're going to do it, don't get a rip off copy. Buy a retail OS 10. At the end of the day, it's the operating system we all love, and I think Apple deserves some uh, a bit of money for it. So there you go. Check out the links. <laughs>